Here we are back at Good Games Hobart for our day two of Water Tanker Tanks into Normandy. Uh, we set the table up, hopefully identical to last week. Um, we've just had one round. My reserves have started coming on. Unfortunately, I've got a fire, fire, firefly back there that failed to roll any movement dice. My other firefly is coming around, hopefully put a little bit of pressure on John's right flank. Um, I haven't lost any more units, but John's uh, Hans Inman, who was th really threatening my side box, Harry side box here. Um, luckily, Frank Greenroll, um, in his Sherman, uh, managed to get some fire onto, onto him and destroyed him. He actually rolled a double six for hit, so he ended up with two extra, ended up with two extra strike dice and destroyed him. So, still in the balance. John's, side, John's guys are still looking pretty tough. And time will tell. I think you need another coffee. I'll go get him in a minute. So here's the action again. Uh, the Stug and uh, Frank um, Greenroll are uh, sort of dancing around here. Just that, this coming week. I ended up, I can't remember if I said it in the last clip, but uh, I've taken out uh, Hans Inman in this tank here. Uh, Fritz, hands out, whatever, is under fire from um, the Firefly here. And my one of my other Shermans managed to sneak through the hedge over here and put fire into the rear of his ace, uh, Klaus Hatch, and he's lit him up. Meanwhile, I've still got two guys over here who have struggled to move, uh, Firefly and my Command Sherman, who have struggled to move. Yeah, they hope, hopefully they can get into the battle to help wipe up the remnants of the Germans, who only have left the Stuck and Hans Altman. I think the writing's on the wall for the Germans, but who knows? Anything can happen in Water Tanker. Uh, whatever. John Stug was uh, was threatening to put some fire onto uh, Frank Greenroll. Obviously, Frank tried reversing but couldn't get out of his way. Luckily, and unknown to the, the Stug, um, my command and my Firefly had snuck around and uh, had a good roll. Obviously, there was a Firefly with his nine hits, uh, lit him up. So John is now down to one Panzer IV left over here, coming up against these two. And these three here now of mine, with nothing else to do, but um, they might come over and give a hand if they need to. This is John's uh, final uh, tank there. He's sort of ducked back into the uh, into the farm complex to try to um, stop being hit. But we thought the day was going to end a little bit too quickly, so we've allowed, we've agreed that John will now have a um, Panther and another Mark IV um, to come on, just to keep the day going a little bit longer, and hopefully have a little bit of um, a little bit of game back into it. Darren, I'll see if you need this. The game, end of the game has arrived. Um, as you see, there's John's Panther. I've just wiped out John's last Panzer IV. Uh, I think it was, was it this guy, John? Yeah. So this Firefly here gave him a big hit on his front armor and lit him up, unable to save any of the three hits. Uh, Lots of smoke everywhere. The orchard, as I think might have been historically accurate, yeah. or that the farmhouse has become a bit of a, a bloodbath. Um, even though this guy here hasn't got smoke on him, his crew bailed. So it wasn't destroyed, but he ended up having no command dice, so his crew had jumped out. So a win to the alloys, again, historically accurate. They can now bypass Khan, and off to uh, the more open fields of Normandy. Wow. Thank you for a good game, John. A Thank pleasure you, as always, mate. Well Thank done. you. Well done, Commander. <laughs>